Here. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I can't get it up. Hold on, look at this. Wow, wait till you see this one. I flip this over and I peed off these bees right here. So I was trying to sell this and they are not happy. Here comes one towards me. And to the point where I got stung right here in my hand. I better get out of here before I get stung again. Here they come. See, they're flying. Definitely coming towards me, I'm out. YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire here. We got M -M 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 Magic Mike, we got and we got Joe. We're here working hard today. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe. So many great videos, so many great things. And the best thing about Second Sense, as always, you can bid on the items www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. First thing I just want to show, look at this, right off the rip. Talk about vintage goodness right here. The parking meter. Parking meter. I know you guys seen it before, but I had to say I show it. I love that parking meter. I'm gonna make a lot of money with it. But look at these books right here. Old, old. Little Red Riding Hood. Children's Garden. Daffy Duck. Four little puppies. That was your favorite, wasn't it, Mike? I didn't have that one. Oh, Tom and Jerry. Oh yeah. Davy Crockett. That's before my time. Davy, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. <laughs> you never heard of song? I don't think so. Oh my god. Woof! Now I'm old. <laughs> Patty Cake. Crispy. The birth, I never heard of that one. These are some old ones here. And once again, these little books like here, the golden books, what you're looking for is first editions. See right here? It says E. So you go through the alphabet. It's not first edition. You're looking for A. A, A, A. So here's another one. Let's take Davy Crockett. Oh, right there. See that, Mike? Where are you at? A. Oh, there it is. A. See, a lot of people don't know about that. Did you know about that, Mike? I didn't. That's how you know. First editions for little golden books. And there's little tricks out there that you learn. And there's some of these books. Look them up. First edition golden, little golden books. I guarantee you, you'll see some big money ones out there. Cinderella. Oh. Huh. Everyone likes Scuffy the tugboat. Oh, yeah. Yip and yap. Is that what they call you and me? <laughs> yeah, I supposed to laugh at that way. But it was funny. The Oops. little kittens. Man, this thing's just loaded. Oh. Little golden book, Donald Duck. Let's see. So sometimes you have to go inside like this. Oh, right there. See, it's a K. They go right in order. Right in order. Look at this one. Tricks and Nicks. The Gilmore Brothers. Never heard of Tricks and Nicks. This looks very, very old. Let's see if we can find date in here. Look at Cleveland, Ohio. That's where it was published. Back in the day, so much stuff was made in Cleveland. I don't see any date in here. It's number 505 series, though. Very interesting. I wish there was a date. What do you think we should do next? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the uh, Mo. Mo? Mo. Uh, that was mo. I don't know. All right. <laughs> We're going to go right here. What? Oh, look, Mike. These look like hummels. That's what they are. You see the V with the B? Oh, yeah. 
So that's how you can tell the age of Hummels. If you look it up, they change their marks for different years. The bigger the bee, they're smaller bees. I would say this is probably 1950s, 60s mark. Oh, wow. Wow. This is actually an old game. And right there, see, I got it. I got it first try. See the ring around the bill? Oh, yeah. So I think you're supposed to get a ring on that and then a ring around each shoulder. Hmm. Oh, I got one on top of his hat, too. Well, you even try? That is old. Made in Japan. So probably after the war. Right there, it has what you want. Walt Disney Productions. The Dopey. Man, I love this vintage Disney. There's been so much great vintage Disney. And now look at this is all Hummels. See, this is a newer one. 72. It says Gold Bowl. Doesn't have the B or the V. Oh, right there, look. You know who that is? Uh, Snow White. All right. We should have asked uh, <laughs> Silent Shane who it was. He'd be like, I don't know. But this is a Gold Bowl. Walt Disney and Gold Bowl. So I haven't seen those. Like that's got to be some good money right there. Oh, look at hmm. Lady and the Tramp Bank. Man, looks like someone took the money out though. <laughs> not, not our lucky day today, Magic Mike. And this is filled. See, there's an older Hummel right there. See how that bee's bigger. Mm-hmm. Probably like the 40s. Look at that be on that one. That's what I'm trying to explain the difference between that one. Not that one. Where's the other one? All right here. Let's see the size of the B. Oh, yeah. People can understand. So this one's older. This one's newer. So that, well, this one's going to be more valuable. And there's just a bunch of Hummels in here. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. Lucy. We got Lucy. It says, my way. <laughs> How can you beat that? It still works, Magic Mike. Just like me, I'm still working. Trying to make a dollar here. And there's another old Hummel. Western Germany, though. Interesting box. Definitely some money in there. More Disney. Golden books. Who knows what else. We gotta go through all these boxes. Keep watching. I can't wait to see what else we find. Right here, this little Amazon box. What do you think? Oh! Nice. Alright, I mean, I just see this box right here is what I saw. Look at this old box. Movie Jector film? This side against the G-sided projector? The Curious World? I never seen anything like this. Very old. It's on a wooden, look at that, wooden spool. I'll have to do some research on that. Man. Oh. I see another one. Look at the boxes just falling apart. This is what it looks like inside, ladies. Oh wow. Look at. It. Is that awesome or what? Huh. Comic strip. Yeah, it's like a little comic strip. Must be like 3D. Put on your wall there. It's this, uh, I don't know how it works, but what does this one says? Animals. So this one says a curious world, animals. Oh, there's another one in here. Buffalo Bill. Yeah, I'm assuming this is it. Out of the package. Wow. I have no clue. We're gonna have to do some research on those. If you guys know anything about them, let us know. Pigs always sell, right, Mike? Yeah. People love pigs. Uh-oh, it sounds like we got a customer here. So we're going to take care of that customer here to pick up some furniture. Who knows what else we're going to find. Keep watching. We'll be right back. Everybody, how are you doing? We're back. Going through more stuff. Customers picking up stuff. We can't help it. We're busy, busy at Second Sense. Let's keep going through this box. Already these cool little film reels. It's a pig. And this. Homestead Falls. School ornament. Oh, there's more of these. Look at this one. The side against, geez, oh, Huckleberry Finn. See if I can open this one up. Oh, look, look. Bye bye. Man, let's see if there's a D 
day down there somewhere. Wow. Popeye the Sailor, man. Rough shape, but we're going to find one of these. I've never even seen these before. So, and I'm assuming subject matter matters. And once again, Popeye cartoons. Everyone loves that kind of stuff. Even Magic Mike likes Popeye. Oh, yeah. The only reason he eats spinach is because of Popeye. <laughs> Just like another million some kids in the United States. Oh, Matchbox. It's treasure inside. Win a pirate adventure? No oh, way. What year was this? Hmm. I don't even see a date on this. Man, they stopped dating stuff. What do you think, Magic? 80s, 70s? Yeah, it's got to be like 80s or 90s, I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Big Bad Wolf game. Are you a Big Bad Wolf, Mike? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Three little pigs playing cards. And there they are, the little bad, Big Bad Wolf. 19... 32 copyright. Wow. Wow. Where are you going to find a set of those? Play poker with those. Might be a few cards short, but hey. Oh, what's this? It's wrapped up my magic. Oh, man. I'm afraid of I should have you take it out. This way, if it breaks, I can blame you. <laughs> take it out of your paycheck. It's a little dog. They occupy Japan. I don't know. Dog down, dog down. See, I taught it how to lay, sit. There's two of them, salt and peppers, maybe. Let's see if one of these says Popeye on it. I don't know, it said something and you can't even make out what it was written in there. This guy. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Oh, man. No way. What's that? Donald Duck. You see that? I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't know if these have candy or perfume or something on them. I think they have perfume. I don't know. If you guys know what these are, but I never seen these. They're glass, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. Extremely old. Very cool pieces. What else is in here? Oh, look at these little. I don't know. Does this go on top like this or something? No. I don't know. I think these went on little lights, maybe. Man, look at that. Three Little Pigs, Big Bad Wolf. Very cool pieces. Box of extreme vintage goodness. Still got so much more to go through. Who knows if we're going to make it all through today. When you got this much great stuff, it's, it's unbelievable. Keep watching. So many great things. Can't wait. Let's keep going. More of these books. And I usually don't get excited about books, but look at these. Howdy Doody. Once again, these are little golden books, highly collectible, and I think this person might have had every single one, it seems like, you know, Mike? Oh, look, you're right there. What's that? Hey? That's right. There it is. That's a first print, howdy doody, little golden book. You know, the condition's not the greatest. It has some wear on the edges, but it still exists. We got the fireman, Woody Woodpecker. Guess who lives here, Mike? Bongo. <laughs> look at that, the grasshopper here. These aren't even golden books. I mean, these are some old books. I got some more golden books. Hansel and Gretel. Let's take a look at another one here and see. See right there? That one's a D. So fourth printing. You understand? I got it. You got it. You picked me up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Dumbo! H. Mickey Mouse, this goes on and on and on. Lassie. This person, they had old ones. 
I didn't see one in there. All the way, look at the Little Mermaid here. And obviously, little, little golden books, they probably still make them today, I'm pretty sure. This whole thing is just filled. Look at that. You got the Simba right there from Lion King. Sesame Street, Pinocchio, Mickey Mouse. One of my favorites. I love the Muppets. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Fozzie the Bear. Oh, man. Unbelievable. So many cool books. Bring back your childhood memories. Unless you're like Mike, who was born in... I can't say where he was born. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about bringing up Mike. <laughs> I'm messing around. Oh, man. Well, let's go right in here. Look at this. It's old, but it's only a head. The oh, there's the body right here. Unfortunately, see they had tape on the back. Someone taped it together a long time ago. Someone was mad at Mickey. That's an old piece of cardboard there. Look at that. The Adventures of Old Mr. Toad, unfortunately. Looks a little dirty. 1929. Man, people love books. Beach Party Disney. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. Viewmaster? The True View. It's like a Viewmaster, but man, that one has a cool look to it, doesn't it? Very retro. Yeah, very 1950s. Oh, look at this. It's a gun. Pirate gun. Crafted with the pride in America. Recommended for ages four and over. Oh, it doesn't even work. Remember these little cap guns when I was a kid? Tell it's new. It has an orange cap. Got some little figures in here. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I can't get it up. Hold on. Look at this. Popeye pipe. A Popeye kazoo pipe. I mean, I think all my dreams just came true at one time. Edition. The Popeye pipe playing kazoo. I mean, you know when you always wanted something but you didn't know what it was until you saw it? That's it. There it is. Because a lot of people don't know this about me, but I was a professional kazoo player back in but the school band. They said kazoo wasn't a real instrument. It's a long story. A lot of hurt people. Anyways, keep moving along. We're going to dwell on the past. The bad times. Unless it's good stuff like this. Look at this. You ever see one of these, Mike? Yeah. A paddle toy. A little paddle toy here. You can try to make the dog do things by pulling the string here. And this is a very, very old piece. Yeah, a $30 price tag, I'm like. Hmm. There's the name right there. Hard to make out right here. Very cool. Toys, toys. Ah, oh, the thermos. Didn't we just have a cooler? A Walt Disney uh, lunchbox? Peanuts. I think we had a lot. Walt oh, Disney one too, didn't we? Yeah. I wonder if this was the what went with it. Oh, look at this. Look how old that tin is. Hopefully, something's inside of it. Ah. Oh. No. It is an old tent, huh? Very old. There's a bunch of... Oh, what's this? This old box. Something's in there. What do you think? Sounds like it. What do you think's in there? Um, uh, I have no clue. It's a game. Dominoes. Let's see what it says here. Bone and Ebony 28-piece beach box... 1985, $140. Look at that. Ebony and bone. It looks like that little brass inlay in there. Man, these are some nice dominoes. 
You can just tell by the box how old it is. I better put this back in. What else are we gonna find in here, dumbass? You know, Woo! So some old game pieces. And I think it's for James Bond. Mm. Doesn't that look like James Bond? It does. It's just, there's no rhyme, no reason in our business. Oh! You know who that is? Uh, Disney? Yeah, but what's his name? I don't know. Ferdinand! Ferdinand the Count? The Bull. The Bull. <laughs> Did you just say the... No. Yeah, can't work like that. <laughs> can't work like that, so you see calling him the cow. <laughs> it's bull. That is bull. That's right. Ferdinand the bull. The cow. <sighs> you're lucky behind. You're lucky at cameras on, Mike. <laughs> Let's keep going. Walt Disney watch. Branding in a package. One of these things. Multi tool. Everyone's used one of those. That was from that one Olympics, remember? He was the mascot. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> I remember, was it was the 84 Olympics or something? I don't remember him. Come on, Mike. I don't. You don't? 1981. Los Angeles Games. 1980 Olympics. They were in LA. Boy Scout. Vintage piece there. Oh, look at these. We got Copper, Dopey, Donald Duck, and Crazy Mickey Mouse. Shooting those pistols now, Mickey. We got Big Chuck, Little John. Oh man, this little thing's full. Look at this. Peter Pan activity books. World's Stupidest Criminals. That's a good time. <laughs> Tale of Miss Ladybug. Recipes. Independence Day. Some Marvel cards. Pattern. Humphrey Bogart stamps. Oh no. Signed autograph copy of Big Chuck book. Cleveland Legend. And this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Little old vintage bank there. Happy Days Bank. Oops. They always take the money out. <laughs> Man. You think that's funny, Doby? I don't think it's funny at all. The Hungry I think it's signed by the author. Raymond Piper. And then this thing right down here. Look at this. First I thought it was just keys in here. Down here. Look at all these cowboys. All kind of these lead figures. Oh man, look at this one. It's like a Martian or a guy for space. There's all kind of soldiers down there. More cowboys. Very cool. Who knows what else we're going to find? So much more to go through. Even got this tweet tweet shot glass. Keep watching. Man, who knows what's going to be in here. Tons of vintage, awesome goodness. Money, money, money. I'm excited. I know you are too. So many cool vintage items so far. Let's go through. Let's look at this box. It's all glass, but these people were collectors. They love Disney and other items, so let's see what we got here. Foghorn Leghorn. 1974. There's the chicken hawk. Bugs Bunny. Elmer Fudd. Look at that. This whole thing's <clears throat> more Looney Tunes. These are newer ones. Welch's Jelly, 1994. So we got the 70s, we got 90s. Dr. Seuss, Welch's. All right, let's keep going through these glasses. Look at this one. 
Happy birthday, Bugs Bunny, 50th anniversary. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What's up, Doc? Oh, wow. Look at this one. That's old. Sparky likes to sing a song and play the ukulele on musical glasses. Play along the tinkle tune so gaily. Oh, see right there. There's the music sign. That's where you need it at. That's where you want it, to have the perfect sound with the ukulele of Sparky. You can play along, jam out in his group. Look, here's more Welches. So many. Oh, Robin Hood. Great movie. Just a little measure cup. Random glass. Oh, look. Little Abner, 1949. Pinocchio, this little Disney McDonald's cup. And the Civil War Centennial Cup. Man, take a look at that one. So many cool glasses. Man, awesome binge goodness. Time to start going in this tote. What do you think, Magic? <clears throat> I don't know. Thank you More glasses? Oh. Wow, nice. look at this. This looks just looks so old. Almost looks like Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse. Let's see if it's marked. I don't see any mark over here. Oh, right there. Walt Disney. Something up here says U.S. You see that? Mm -hmm. So this marked. Man, that's an old piece. I could be worth some good money. Now I'm excited. What else could be in here? Wow, it looks like 1940s maybe. Oh, look. It says Thumper. Walt Disney. Right there it says Thumper. Man, it's marked. Looks like that's where a sticker was on that. Yep. First, I thought it was a chip. We don't want that, but I don't feel any chips. Man, I gotta look this up. I have no clue. Some of this stuff could be worth big money. We know the mouse. Everyone likes the mouse. Oh, no way. I've never, ever seen one of these. It's a bobblehead Mickey Mouse. And he's got the motorcycle. Cruising with the sidecar. All oh, right there. It's marked on the bottom. Nesco, Walt Disney Productions. Got the sticker. I'm saying 50s. Probably 50s right here. Maybe 60s. I'll have to look it up. Oh, this sounds like I'm going to break it already. Oh, look. It's another one. Little bottle. Oh. Look, this one's a little loose there, but I think he's in a plane, yeah. <laughs> Flying, making some money, woo! That's right. Are you making money today, Rob? Yeah, I'm making money. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why I like the bobbleheads. They always agree with me. Not like Shane and Magic Mike and Joe. Maybe they always like this. No. No. Bobblehead? <laughs> yes. He's always, yes, Rob, yes. See? This. Oh. oh, you know who this is? Uh, one of the dwarfs. Yeah. Which one? Uh, Dopey. <laughs> That's correct. That is correct. Oh, right here. Walt Disney Productions. Assuming it's Dopey. I heard you would have thought it was Sleepy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at this one. Cowboy Donald right there. That's an old one. It is marked. It's going to be tough to make out. But it's right here in the mold. It's a Walt Disney right there. Man. It's a little planter. Very cool piece. Unbelievable, man. What do you think? Did you have these when you were a kid? I did not. 
Pray you have a whole collection. You don't want to tell us. <laughs> what the heck, this one's all right, though. Oh! A little book in it. Look, it made in Japan. I don't know if it's Bambi or not. Let's see. I don't see any marks on there. Look at the head broke off before they glued it back together, Magic. See it? Mm hmm. That was a good job. You wouldn't even know. From this side, pff, it looks mint. Looks minty. Wow. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas time at Second Sense right here. Man, we're going to have a great auction at Disney Auction. It's too bad that his paint's starting to flake off there. But yet, you know it's old. Just by looking at it, you can tell it's old. Just like looking at Magic Mike. <laughs> tell he's young. I knew that was. Oh, you didn't. No, I thought you thought I was going to say he was old. Oh, look. What's better than one? Two. Donald Duck Cowboys. What's the chances of finding one of these? Let alone two of these. Unbelievable. Man, I, I can't wait to do some research on this stuff to see how much money we're going to be making at Auction Magic. Oh, look at it. Oh, this is your... Girlfriend. It's your girlfriend, Mike. We found her. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Don't think it's funny. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got fighting words now. There he is. Huh, going after my girlfriend, huh, Pam? Huh, huh? Look at Thumper. You know he's about to thump? You imagine, Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better be scared. Oh, I love you, baby. Too much fun at work. Magic Mike moving on <laughs> Thumper's girlfriend. Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of guy are you, Magic? Get out of here. We have to go through a few more things. We're running out of time. We're not going to make it through this whole tote. So keep watching. Check out tomorrow's episode. I promise we'll get through this whole tote. Find some more treasures. Let's... <laughs> Speaking about treasures. Ludwig von Drake. That is such a cool. And right there, look. Is it 61? 61. 1961. Walt Disney's Productions. Man, we found stuff from the 70s, the 60s, I think 50s, maybe even 40s Disney stuff. One more piece, Mike. You pick it. One more piece. That's it? All right. The last piece. Hope you pick something good, Mike. Oh, look what he found, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the other bookend. You found the other bookend. And you know what they say, Mike. Mm. Two's better than one. Would you rather I have one million dollars or two million dollars? Two. Exactly. Would you rather have one dare bookend or two? Two. Oh, dough. I know I'm going to be making some dough, that's for sure. Unbelievable. We'll go through the rest of this tomorrow. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You don't know what you're going to see. we got vintage, antiques, collectibles, hoarder houses, mansion, millionaires, cars, collectibles, vehicles, anything you can imagine. We sell it. And the best thing is you can bid on it, www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. We ship everywhere in the world. And, man, we appreciate everybody out there. Tune in tomorrow. Watch and see the rest of this. Magic Mike can't wait to see what's in there. I can't wait to see in there. Silent Shane, well, he's excited, but he's quiet about it. That's why we call him Silent Shane. So who knows what else we're going to find. Keep watching, and I can't wait to see you guys back tomorrow.